The fishermen who lived in the west of American continent in the past centuries relied on abundant fish of the eastern Pacific waters to make a living during the cold month of the year. The cold temperature of the water and abundant food in the shallow water draw many fish to the surface, where the fishermen hooks and nets happily awaited them. However, such conditions were not always maintained. Some years, especially around Christmas, the warmer weather kept in a fish and the depth and the anglers didn't have much of a catch. What is more interesting is that such a situation was always accompanied by heavier rains than normal years. The Spaniards and Portuguese, who lived in the central regions of the American continent, called this weather condition El Nino. It means a boy and because it coincides with a Christmas celebration. From torrential rains that cause catastrophic floods in South America to serve droughts that cause forest fires in Australia. E. El Nino is dependent on it. What causes this weather phenomenon? El Nino affects ocean water by increasing ocean water temperatures from 32.4 to 32.9 degrees Fahrenheit, about average. The consequences of El Nino include floods, droughts, increased CO2 levels, and global temperature changes. Its origin is in the eastern central Pacific Ocean, which creates problems for the developing countries ordering the ocean and the marine organisms of those areas. Within the ocean, the accumulation of warm air in the eastern Pacific causes a stratification of the temperature profile in the ocean. As a result, the movement of nutrients from the depth to the surface is stopped. In this way, the aquatic population in higher layers decreases due to the migration to cooler areas or increased mortality. On the other hand, cold food-bearing waters increase in other areas of the ocean, especially around Atlantica or the coast of East Asia. In this way, the aquatic population of these areas increases abnormally. On Earth, on the west coast of the Americas, increased humidity and air temperature lead to torrential rains and storms. And these storms and floods will cause a lot of damage to the environment and urban areas. Floods have a particularly negative impact on surface water resources. With the increase of sediment a removal of runoff from rural and urban areas, the population that exists in these areas, especially industrial and agricultural pollutants, quickly spreads in a water basin and is set to rivers, lakes, and oceans. Since the El Nino phenomenon changes the direction of weather currents, this increase in humidity and precipitation in the eastern Pacific Ocean means a decrease in humidity and precipitation in the eastern and even central Asia regions. During the occurrence of El Nino, these regions face droughts and extreme temperature increases. A decrease in precipitation leads to a decrease in surface water reserves. This phenomenon, on the one hand, increases the concentration of pollutants in surface water, and on the other hand, it increases the extraction of underground water resources. As a result, the possibility of occurrence of phenomena such as land subsidence and reduction of the capacity of underground water tables due to the reduction of soil porosity after subsidence increases. In this case, future rains will lead to increased flooding in these areas and waste of rainwater. The El Nino phenomenon can last for several months or even one to two years. After some time, when the factors causing this phenomenon disappear, the ocean currents return to their balanced state. However, it is possible that after the occurrence of El Nino, the phenomenon of La Nina, which means the girl, will occur. La Nina is a weather phenomenon that cools the water instead of warming. Generally, water temperatures drop to 37 to 41 degrees Fahrenheit during La Nina. The stage brings surf consequences such as storms, rains, floods for countries like the United States and Canada.
They occur every two to seven years in an irregular pattern and are therefore difficult to prepare for. In addition, they are long processes. Alina lasts about 9 to 12 months, while Nanina usually lasts 1 to 3 years. The waters of the Pacific Ocean are uniformly warming, causing dramatic changes in the global climate. Over time, the Enso cycle can change between phases such as uh, from El Nino to La Nina. During La Nina, the winds become stronger, causing increased upwelling and uh, during a warm weather areas in the ocean. The consequences for the regions bordering the Pacific Ocean are dire, and historical data indicate significant human losses. In the 19th century alone, approximately 30 to 60 million people died due to severe droughts and floods in India, China, and Brazil, in countries that rely on fish and fertilizer exports. Elino disrupts growth, causing widespread fish kills and increased rainfall that washes away crops and fertilizers and damages infrastructure. On the contrary, eastern regions such as Indonesia and Australia face possible droughts during El Nino, which creates challenges for their ecosystems and economies. The consequences of El Nino extend globally, affecting water and crops, leading to drying and adverse effects on living standards, human and animal health, and land fertility. El Nino tends to bring cool and dry winters, which are potentially harmful to the Earth. For example, in the 18th century, El Nino significantly affected the harvest of European countries. In fact, El Nino caused severe famine in various Asian and European countries. The last occurrence of El Nino and La Nina in 2015 and 2016 happened almost seven years ago. 2016, at the hottest year on the record, saw the strongest El Nino event in 50 years, leaving more than 60 million people hungry. In 2015, tropical waters remained warmer than normal throughout the year, reaching a peak warming of approximately 37.4 degrees Fahrenheit in the November. The overall temperature warning about 35 degrees Fahrenheit in probably a record since 1860. All continents were affected by El Nino, and Australia experienced severe droughts, especially in its eastern and northern parts. This led to an early start to the fire season, with a total of 125 fires causing extensive damage to nature in Tanzania, including rainforests and swamps that previously rarely saw fires. In addition, this period witnessed the bleaching of corals, which can be referred to as uh, climatic consequences. This makes the corals uh, white and highly prone to death, and significant impact on the harvest. In Australia, the spring and autumn of 2016 were very dry and had a significant impact on the harvest. The heat also reduced uh, the supply of ore, a major export commodity. Asian regions faced different weather conditions during this period. A severe drought affected 85% of the Philippines and Indonesia, leading to widespread fires in Indonesia. The fires also disrupted the export of palm oil and increased the price of products that use this oil. Rice production in Vietnam and Thailand was significantly reduced due to water shortages. India reduced supply of rice, sugar, cotton, and corn. The northern regions of China suffered from drought, while the southern regions experienced rain and floods. South America experienced severe weather-related disasters in 2016. Heavy floods and landslides and displaced around 5,000 people and reduced stream production. More than 150,000 people had to be evacuated from flooded areas. Argentina also experienced one of the largest locust investigations of period. The return of rains in April 2016 exacerbated the dire agricultural situation in Argentina. In Colombia, the drought led to a famine, affecting an estimated 2.3 million people in need of a humanitarian assistance, according to the United Nations. The Caribbean faced a shortage of drinking water, and St. Lucia declared a state of emergency. 
In Brazil, El Nino had mixed effects, contributing to the significant increase in world coffee and sugar prices. However, the United States and European countries felt the least direct impact. States such as Missouri, Mississippi, and Great Britain received more than average rainfall, but it didn't seriously affect their economies. The African continent suffered economically and food production in South Africa decreased by 6 million tons. In some parts of Zimbabwe, 75% of the harvest was lost. Ethiopia saw 10 million people in need of humanitarian assistance and approximately 458,000 children treated for acute malnutrition. In total, about 16 million people around the world experienced hunger due to the consequences of El Nino. Adverse weather events during El Nino and La Nina led to disease outbreaks, particularly in Africa and South America. Flooding in South America facilitated the spread of the Zika virus. While in Africa, outbreaks of cholera, rift valley, fever, and malaria were recorded. Animals, especially seabirds and small mammals, suffered from the effects of El Nino, sometimes leading predators to attack farm livestock. Invasive species such as grass hyzer and tree frogs proliferated, damaging crops and spreading diseases. The seriousness of the danger caused by El Nino and La Nina should not be underestimated. Meteorologists are seeing signs of El Nino, which is likely to begin in the late summer of 2023 or as early as 2024. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration researchers, including Dylan Amaya and World Meteorological Organization Secretary General Pedro Tales, warned that new global temperature records are on the way. It may be adjusted next year. The long La Nina period, which lasts three years and ends in March, is considered one of the contributing factors in this potential strong increase. A significant accumulation of thermal energy in the ocean shows that, following the cold, the release of this heat can intensify the effects of El Nino. While it is challenging to predict whether the 2015 and 16 scenario will repeat itself, each El Nino is unique due to the different periods of phenomenon and the overall state of the global climate. Several predictions uh, have been made for the upcoming El Nino. Candidate in climate science, Tracasa Castro, highlights uh, four potential consequences for global climate in 2023-2024. First, ocean temperatures are likely to raise by as much as 35 degrees Fahrenheit, potentially exceeding the peak temperatures seen in 2015-2016. However, the intensity of the increase is not yet clear. Second, after a long La Nina period, Australia had experienced significant rainfall, but this was changed as overall temperatures increased by 34.5 Fahrenheit compared to the early 20th century, potentially leading to early fires. Thirdly, South America will face not only a humanitarian disaster, but also an outbreak of serious diseases such as malaria, Zika virus or dengue fever. The complex nature of El Nino underscores the need for continued monitoring and research to better understand and prepare for its potential impacts. The potential consequences of a future El Nino are broad and could extend health issues, ecosystem disruptions, and economic challenges. Abnormal warmth during El Nino may contribute to the spread of brain disorders and abnormal warmth during El Nino may contribute to the spread of brain disorders and abortions. Severe drought in Amazon rainforest, as well as in Africa, India, and Australia, can inhibit vegetation growth and lead to reduced absorption of CO2 from the atmosphere. Northern Europe may face cold and dry winters, while Southern Europe can expect increased rainfall. The North Atlantic may experience a chill. Access to food and drinking water becomes more critical during El Nino and affects different regions of the world. Australia, Brazil, Peru, Africa, and the other regions that struggle with climatic change in 2015 and 16 may again face severe food and economic crisis. 
The decrease in export of agricultural, livestock, mineral and fuel products can have an indirect effect on the whole world. NOAA shows potential impacts for the United States, including a sharp increase in precipitation in the eastern part of the country and a heat wave in the southwest and south. A study has been conducted that the global economy may cost about $3.5 trillion in the next five years due to the effects of this phenomenon. Preparedness and preventive measures will be very important to mitigate the possible challenges caused by future El Nino. The second half of the 2023 and the following year may pose significant challenges to the entire world due to the possible effects of El Nino and La Nina. In addition, there is concern that these weather events will become more severe and frequent in the future. This increased frequency may disrupt the formation of uh, tropical forests. One of the key factors in the increasing influence of El Nino and La Nina is uh, the emission of greenhouse gases that contribute to further warming of the planet. In the long term, it is likely that global warming will become the norm and continue to rise, posing an even greater threat to the world. The possible deterioration of the climate of the planet in the future serves as a warning and emphasizes the importance of environmental protection. Only by caring for the environment can we hope to protect ourselves from catastrophic consequences and work towards a more sustainable and resilient future.